Managing and Preserving Digital Images Managing and Preserving Digital Images is the fifth in a series of tutorials produced by the State Historical Records Advisory Board and the State Archives of North Carolina. Support of this series is made possible through a grant from the National Historical Publications and Records Commission. The number of images produced has expanded exponentially with the introduction of digital photography. Today, digital images can be taken on telephones and sent anywhere in the world in an instant and copied to 100 servers. This tutorial focuses on the management and preservation of digital photographs and files. Digital images are potentially immortal. However, digital images can change over time, either via editing or by the way the photograph is stored. We must preserve digital photographs with reasonable image quality in a format that will be durable and be able to easily access identifying information about the photograph. In the past, every physical photograph was valued and treasured. Many people took the time to label each print individually. When photographs were physical objects, all that was needed was to keep them dry and organized. Now the simple process of preserving and identifying photographs is complicated by the notion of preserving and managing image metadata, or data about the mechanisms used to create, organize, and store the photograph. Now you are managing files, not merely images. Digital images can lose quality in a number of different ways, so it is critical to capture as much of the original digital data as possible in a master file. You will never have more information about the original scene than you had at the moment the photo was taken. Each time a digital image is altered and resaved, you are discarding data. Repeated adjustments cause images to become posterized. This means that smooth gradations of tone are reduced to a few simple colors. This begins subtly and isn't noticeable until the image has been significantly degraded. The way digital photographs are stored can alter the original image. Saving the image as a JPEG, a common digital image format, takes up less space on your computer where you'll store and access your images. However, you are already losing image quality. The JPEG format is a compression algorithm, a mathematical formula that discards image data that the human eye doesn't notice. Storing your photographs in a TIFF format retains all the original data but takes up more computer space. To preserve as much data as possible, we suggest saving images in the TIFF format. People also alter images on purpose. They retouch or delete unflattering details, crop them to fit picture frames, create black and white versions, or remove subjects altogether. This is called version control. How will you recognize a better or more accurate version of an original photograph? You'll want to keep a historically accurate, technically correct master file in TIFF format and think of this file as your preservation file. You may choose to keep a working file of JPEGs to share or alter. Now consider your own photographs. Where are they? In your camera? On your phone? Your computer? In the old computer gathering dust in the closet? On your Flickr account? On a CD somewhere? No one knows how to permanently preserve digital information. Digital media are extremely perishable and we have no accurate estimation of their longevity. Media and software become obsolete very fast, so it is important to migrate to new media whenever appropriate. As soon as you download your photographs to the computer, they become digital files, so plan to back up these files as you would any other digital file. It is wise to include some basic identifying information in the folder in file names, in case nothing else is preserved in the future. Just like paper files, electronic files need to be well organized and labeled correctly so that they are easily identifiable and accessible when you need them. Your file name should include all necessary descriptive information independent of where it is stored. Include dates and format them consistently. For more information about naming and managing digital files, 
See the resources list at the end of this tutorial. A minimum of two copies of everything important needs to be maintained. In case of data loss, hard drives will eventually fail. Some form of dark storage is recommended, something not vulnerable to power surge or internet threats. CDs or DVD media are an affordable solution, but it takes a significant number of DVDs to back up a photo collection, and it takes effort to create DVD backups regularly. A memory card is not intended for long-term storage. An external hard drive is much faster and less vulnerable to natural disaster if it is stored in a watertight box or off-site. Cloud backup is convenient, but sufficient space to back up a large photo collection is expensive, and you can't always really tell how stable the vendor's system is. The best form of backup will be the one you actually use consistently for all your data. In addition to the photo itself, the meaning of the image has to be preserved. Who is it? What are they doing? Where? When? And why? Historical photos without this information are mere curiosities. They offer little in the way of understanding. Unidentified photographs have value only as long as the person who produced them is available. A system for image identification needs to be created and maintained. Every user should be aware of embedded data and use it when possible, like date and time recorded invisibly in the photo. Many high-end phones can also record the exact GPS coordinates for each image. Software such as Photoshop or Adobe Lightroom can embed multiple fields of information in each photograph, such as the image copyright holder, location, or the subjects involved. The advantage of this approach is that the reference information stays with the image. Now you are managing digital metadata, information about the photo and the files created by the digital device. Using software makes accessing and locating material easier. Files may be lost due to human error or confusion and sometimes it is difficult to tell what is on a disk because file names are often unclear or files are duplicated. Without a consistent, orderly filing system, it is never safe to discard old files. They may contain unique data. The most obvious way of recording information about photos is a text document, perhaps a spreadsheet or database. This allows a great deal of information to be stored and is probably ideal for collections of important photographs but it takes a significant amount of discipline to update this consistently. Another option is to use software like iPhoto, Google's Picasa, or Adobe Lightroom to organize and manage your data. These are good solutions as long as the vendor supports the software and as long as anyone who needs to use the images in the future can find the image catalog and knows how to use it. Images are only valuable if someone can tell you what they mean. Most families have dozens of old photos of unidentified people whose significance is lost forever. Each succeeding generation will only remember a fraction of the people and places you do. Taking the time to properly identify the photo subjects, backing up, organizing, and storing your digital files with full data will help you manage and preserve your photographs and make your life easier in the long run. There are additional resources that provide information to help you manage, organize, and preserve digital images and files. More information about preserving your digital files can be found in the digital preservation pages of the Library of Congress's website. The Getty Research Institute has an excellent introduction to imaging that provides the basic understanding of digital images and platforms used for preservation. PC.com Online Magazine has tips for organizing digital photographs. For suggestions on file naming, consult the State Archives of North Carolina's Best Practices for File Naming. For more detailed information about managing digital photographs and files, see Digital Asset Management for Photographers, published by O'Reilly Press. The State Archives of North Carolina can help too with suggestions and guidance for managing digital photographs. 
Contact Matt Wainer, photographer, 919-807-7349 or matthew.wainer at ncdcr.gov. Managing and preserving digital images is made possible through a grant from the National Historical Publications and Records Commission. Special thanks to Matt Wainer, Sarah Kuntz, Emily Rainwater, Chris Meekins, Francesca Perez, Kelly Eubank, and Andrea Gabriel. Other tutorials in this series include Identifying and Protecting Essential Family Records General Paper Preservation Tips Caring for and Sharing Family and Personal Papers and The Care and Preservation of Family Photographs